Hi, I'm Erica, spiritual healer and mentor. And in this video, I'm working with the powerful healing properties of crystals and Reiki to provide a chakra balancing for you. As you watch this video, you can tune in to the energy of the crystals that I'm using on the table. If you have your own crystals that you'd like to use, please feel free to use your crystals on or near your body while you receive this session. When we work with crystals and when we work with the chakras, we're working with really powerful energy. Crystals are stones that have a very high frequency of vibration. When that frequency of vibration is held close to our body or we're tuning into it, like during this video, it also increases the vibration of our body and our mind system. The chakras are seats of consciousness or seats of energy within you that each have their own qualities. So as you watch and receive this video, we're going to be balancing each chakra on its own and all of the chakras as a whole. Overall, what you can expect from this video is a restoration and balancing of your chakras, your nervous system, your cellular system, your endocrine system, and your hormone system. The best way to prepare to watch and receive this video is to make sure that you're in a comfortable, safe environment where you can feel the ability to relax and receive. You can either receive this by lying down or by sitting upright, but just make sure that you are comfortable and that you're well supported. You might like to close your eyes so that you can tune more deeply inward, but you can also keep your eyes open if you prefer to do that. And also, you might like to wear headphones so that you are kind of tuning in to the sounds that you hear and there's no outside distractions. However, if you notice or you hear outside distractions, just let those kind of come and go into your awareness as you watch this video. Because just like life, we can't always tune everything out. So this is a really good opportunity to relax and receive even in the midst of all the things that you might be experiencing in your life and in your environment. So take a moment, relax, bring your awareness to your breath and your body and enjoy this video. As you begin to receive this Reiki and crystal healing session, start by bringing your awareness to your breath. Your breath is a beautiful channel to receive Reiki through. And Reiki energy is always meant for your highest and your greatest good. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, imagine this beautiful crystal clear, maybe white light of Reiki drying down through the crown of your head. Feel it fill every cell in your body. And on your next exhale, allow yourself to empty completely. Let all of your breath go. Anything that you may be holding on to that you no longer need for this session. Now that you're tuned in to your breath and to the healing power of Reiki, bring your awareness down to your root chakra. Your root chakra is at the base of your spine. And this chakra is about supporting your survival, your protection, your very basic needs. Notice the quality of the energy at your root chakra. If you're using your own crystal at your root chakra, you can tune in to the energy that is being emitted not only 
from your chakra, but from the crystal. At this chakra, we want to encourage stability and foundation. Maybe you can imagine a red light, the color that represents the root chakra. Imagine this light brightening, maybe even expanding. As you breathe into the space at the base of your spine, just notice how the energy is moving, whether there is any stagnation, which might feel like a block of energy. Or notice if the, the energy can begin to move in a clockwise direction. This is going to signal that the chakra is receiving. If you notice that the chakra is moving in a counterclockwise direction, it's releasing. You may feel heat or even a sensation of tingling or hot and cold as the chakra supported by the crystal and the Reiki does what it needs to do to come back into balance. I'll use a Reiki symbol over this chakra to help support its stabilization and its foundation, giving it power We'll move to the second chakra, the sacral chakra. This chakra is between your pubic bone and your belly button. And often it is associated with the color orange. This is the chakra that allows you to tune in to your creative energy. And creative energy Metaphorically can be what you are birthing into the world. Creative energy can also be paralleled with sexual energy. And so at this chakra, the support is that you're tapping in to your creative power in a very natural and balanced way. The flow of energy at your sacral chakra you may like to envision the color orange. Notice if the energy at your sacral chakra is moving in any particular direction. Notice if there's anything to be released from this chakra. or anything to be received at this chakra. Continue to breathe deeply, allowing both the inhale and the exhale to be fluid as all of your awareness flows to your sacral chakra. Move your awareness now to your solar plexus chakra, around the level of your belly button and just above the belly button. This is your center of abundance and your center of personal power. This is about how you show up in the world, about taking full responsibility for yourself, And as the power of this chakra increases, there's a willingness to release blame. Blame can show up as excessive criticism or excessive credit. 
as you breathe into your solar plexus chakra, simply notice what is happening for you at this chakra. How does it feel? How is the energy moving? Are there any awarenesses that your solar plexus chakra have for you? Really allow yourself to tune into the awareness that all of your power can come from this place. You don't have to attempt to get power from anything outside of yourself. You have everything that you need within you. As you take your next inhale, breathe into your heart chakra. The heart chakra is so special and so powerful because it allows both the lower chakras and the upper chakras to come into balance. So if you only have a few moments to take part in chakra balancing, you can come right to your heart chakra and trust and know that the heart knows exactly what you need. source energy, universal consciousness has placed your destiny in your heart. As you breathe deeply into your heart, just notice the way that the energy may be moving. The color associated with the heart is an emerald green. And the heart is the emperor heart is the part of you and the place in you that has a deep knowing of your true self. As your awareness rests in your heart, just notice an expansion that may be able to take place. In the heart, there is only unconditional love. The heart is not tangled up in judgments or belief systems. The heart is fully able to support you in what you're meant to do. Now notice if there's any messages for you from your heart chakra. As you become aware of these messages, and simply breathe in the wisdom of them. There's nothing else that you have to do with them. They're deeply ingrained in you. Bring your awareness now to your high heart. The high heart chakra is just below the collarbones. This is like the universal heart within you. And as we work with this specific crystal at your high heart chakra, there's an opportunity, a willingness to see in the depths of yourself and to bring light to things that might be in the shadows or the unconscious or the subconscious knowing that as you shed light and awareness on these parts and places within you, within your mind, that you bring them back home. You no longer have to judge them. It allows you to feel your wholeness, your completeness. The high heart chakra is often associated with the color pink or a rosy pink color. It's almost like seeing the world or experience the world through rose colored glasses, seeing it for all of its beauty, seeing the wholeness and completeness that exists 
in yourself, in everything, and in everyone. Bring your awareness now back to your breath. And allow your awareness to travel up to your throat chakra. The throat chakra is about you feeling like you can express yourself from your heart. Saying what is in your heart or what's on your heart. And sometimes it's called heart to heart communication. Your throat chakra is also very significant because it is this bridge between your head and your heart. So notice what's happening at your, at your throat chakra. Allow the movement and the shift of energy to take place so that there is a smooth and easy channel for your head and your heart to communicate with one another. The throat chakra is often associated with the ear chakras, the minor chakra of the ears. And so if you are also feeling a sense of energy around your ears and up the sides of your throat or at the back of your throat, that's really normal. All of these things that you're bringing your awareness to in the session are simply for that, to have moments of awakened awareness. The throat chakra is often associated with a beautiful blue color. And so you can tune into that color, noticing if it changes shades of blue. Noticing if the blue expands. And bring your awareness up to the space between your third eye, between the eyebrows, the center of intuition. The third eye chakra, as you tune into it, is about connection to your intuitive knowing your innate wisdom. Even though this is around the level of your brain, it's actually about accessing information that is beyond the brain or the mind. And sometimes this color is called indigo. So if you tend to notice colors as you receive energy healing, then you can tune into that color. If you tend to notice more sensations or feelings, you can tune into the feeling or the sensation that's happening between and just above your eyebrow center. Often when we're working around the third eye, what we're working with is releasing any control or inhibition to accessing our greater or higher wisdom. And so you may notice a releasing action. And often one of the best ways to allow the third eye chakra to receive more is through the practice of meditation. Take a full breath in. Feel the expansion that is now possible at your third eye chakra. And exhale anything that is keeping you from that full expansion, that full realization of your intuition. 
bring your awareness now to the top of your head, your crown chakra. At the crown chakra, this is an opportunity to tune in to universal consciousness, to source energy. I imagine it as a bit of a portal between our human experience, the embodiment of this human experience, and what is beyond the human experience, the spiritual or consciousness experience. You may notice a feeling of spaciousness or expansion as you allow the crown chakra to open Breathe into that expansion and that spaciousness. You may not even know what you're creating space for yet, but just trust that that information will come to you in the right time. At this chakra, there's an opportunity to be truly receptive to what the universe wants to share with you. Often this chakra is related to a violet or sometimes a white light. Whatever color of light you imagine at this chakra, breathe it into every cell of your body. awareness now to all of your chakras together. Notice from the root all the way to the crown and then expand your awareness beyond your root chakra toward and beyond your feet. Expand your awareness beyond your crown chakra about a foot or two feet above your head. At your feet, tune in to the Earth Star. This is a sub chakra that allows you to tune into the nourishment of Mother Earth, the abundance of Mother Earth. This is associated with the feet chakras so that you feel like you can move forward with ease, with grace, and confident going in the direction that your heart is leading you. Feel the connection of your feet and beyond your feet with the earth. Whether your feet are touching the ground or you just imagine that connection. And now that you have this connection with Mother Earth, you can bring your awareness back up to the space about two feet above the crown of your head. the soul star chakra. This is another sub chakra that allows you to go beyond any personal experience, maybe even to tap in to universal consciousness beyond the time and space of this lifetime. This is an opportunity to open to wisdom that is available to all of us, our collective. 
And at this chakra, healing can take place from either becoming aware of something in the collective unconscious, a piece of pain that's ready to be resolved and released. At this chakra, you can also tune in to collective wisdom that you may be ready to integrate at a deeper level so that you can fully feel it and embody that wisdom in this lifetime experience. Take a deep breath in and breathe in from the space all the way beyond the bottom of your feet. to above the top of your head. Imagine this as a full cycle of breath, like an orbit of breath moving through you. On your exhale, you can release anything that is ready to be surrendered to the earth, back into the earth. On your inhale, drawing in any wisdom or any shifting or healing that's ready to take place. We we'll begin to hear the sound of the rattle. What I'm noticing lately in using the rattle with Reiki sessions and with chakra balancing is that the rattle allows the cells of your body to wake up to the shifts and changes that have taken place in the healing session. The rattle allows your body to remember its consciousness and the wisdom that each of the chakras holds for you. This is a wake up and a reuniting. And to seal in the shifts and changes that have taken place, you will hear the sound of the singing bowl. And I like to begin with the singing bowl over the heart chakra. you to tune in to the depths of wisdom in your heart. And we'll take this singing bowl down to the earth star. Reminding you to connect with Mother Earth and the nourishment that she has for you at any moment that you make that connection. And then finally, the singing bowl at the top of your head, uniting the soul star chakra, crown chakra, and the third eye chakra and to work together so that you can be in tune with your highest self, your true self and true nature.
bring your awareness back to your breath. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Notice any shifts in your own body, your mind, or your spirit that have taken place during the session. And one at a time, you can bring your awareness to each of your chakras. Just noticing how they feel now, how the energy feels each of these seats of consciousness within you. Know that you can do a chakra balancing on a daily basis because energy is always moving and shifting. You may have a different experience every time you practice this. When you're ready, you can bring movement back to your hands and your feet. Allow your awareness to come back into the room or the space that you're in and take it easy after this session. Whatever else that you can do to nourish yourself or allow this to land with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and comment. If you would like to receive more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in receiving Reiki or Reiki attunement, please send me an email or visit my website, ericablackburn.com. All of that information is in the description below.